everybody. I'm really excited about this video because it's really cool. The seven top foods that are gonna help you with weight loss and it's all carbs. Super exciting, right? Could you think of weight loss and a lot like society is pushing like don't eat carbs, they're terrible for you. Uh, truth is that for me, especially what's worked the absolute best is cycling your carbs. I've done so many different weight loss regimens and all that kind of stuff. Cycling your carbs. So what the heck does that mean, right? If you've never heard of carb cycling, it pretty much means that one day you um, have a bunch of carbs, like you have a bunch of carbs and then the next two days you don't have any carbs or you have little carbs. So you have like a low carb, medium carb, high carb day. There's a whole bunch of different types of cycles you can do, but that is absolutely the best way. And it gets your body into super fat burning mode. Meta meta metabolism, <laughs> metabolism spiking, it's fantastic. So let's get to it, right? Top seven foods. So the first one, I'm sure you've heard about it. I've seen some, some funny commercials. Uh, quinoa burgers was a commercial, but quinoa. Quinoa is a fantastic, oh my gosh. First of all, it's delicious. And uh, second of all, it's just a natural grain. And why this is gonna help you with weight loss is because I wanna explain something to you. Yes, there's a certain amount of carbs, but you wanna eat carbs that are one, complex, which means that your body doesn't burn them super fast. It actually helps your body with energy levels sustained for a long period of time. Those are complex carbs. And the other thing about something like quinoa is that it's higher in fiber and it's high in protein. So a lot of you guys, uh, it's really interesting because a lot of people think that you gotta pump their body with protein like meat proteins to get, you know, guns, but the tr you really don't. There's a lot of protein in a lot of different vegetables and grains, and quinoa is one of those protein-packed ones. I love me some quinoa. Quinoa goes great on top of salads. It's a great grain for the side. Um, it's like the brown rice on steroids. It's like a side of, on steroids, protein steroids. It's fantastic. So high fiber content, high protein, and oh, I don't know if I said this, but, um, when you have something that's high carb, you also want it to be high fiber because really in reality, it's, that'll make it a net carb. So you can take your carbohydrate amount, you can look at the nutritional label and you see how many grams of carbs, right? And then you can see that how many grams of fiber and then you subtract the grams of fiber from the grams of carbs and that's your net carbs that you're actually going to be consuming. So really cool. When you have carbs, make sure they're high fiber carbs. Uh, and they also give you a lot of other dense nutritional value. So quinoa is definitely makes the list. Love it, love it, love it. That was number one. Number two, high fiber fruits, man. Fruits are considered carbs, guys. There's, well, I'm sure you've heard that the sugar and carbs and all that kind of great stuff, but the same principle goes to there. There's also high fiber fruits, such as any kind of berries, like blackberries, raspberries, uh, blueberries, those are all great for fat burning, uh, of course, and then they're high fiber fruits, so those are high in carbs. Pears also make the list, and then something else I just like to throw in there, grapefruits. Grapefruits, phenomenal. And if you don't know how to eat grapefruit correctly, so that it's delicious, don't eat the, the rind stuff on the outside, don't eat the white part on the outside. You gotta like take a little knife and like get the little piece out of there. You don't eat it like an orange, it's totally different. Um, number three. So number one was quinoa. Number two was high fiber fruits. Number three is Ezekiel bread. Yeah. So I did a little test with Ezekiel bread. And Ezekiel bread is made up of a bunch of different just natural grains. And so, you, and there's no preservatives in it. So I did a little test. My digestive system is very sensitive. So this will help you. Um, <laughs> And I like to use poop as an example of how healthy I am. It's like a sign to me how I'm peeing, my energy levels. It's called, I like to call it body talk. And so I did a little test with Ezekiel bread to see how really fantastic it is, right? And so for a whole week, I had Ezekiel. That's the only carb I had was Ezekiel bread. I think I had fruit too, but that doesn't really count. I'm talking about like bread carbs. And so I had Ezekiel bread for a full week. And then one day, I had run out of it. And I went over to Jordan's house, Jordan's my boyfriend, and I had, he had like a whole grain or whole wheat 
just something you buy off the shelf. Ezekiel bread, if you don't know, it's preservative is being frozen. So you're only going to find it in the frozen section of the supermarket. And so I had it a regular whole grain that you buy in the, like, the bread section. And I didn't poop. I didn't poop for the first time in a week. And if you don't know, you're supposed to poop every single time you eat. Not two or three times a day. Every single time you eat, you're supposed to poop. So <laughs> I'm getting right to the point. <laughs> So, um, so I did that little test with Ezekiel bread and now I will totally stand by it because I had the results from it. It kept my body flowing. It was a healthy way. And I'm telling you, if you can get your digestive system to be an absolute rock star of bringing food in and taking it out and getting nutrients from it and then expelling the rest of it, assimilating or exiting, like it's got to do something with the nutrients or get rid of it. And if it's not doing either of those things stuck inside of your body, and it's not going to be good. It's probably going to be stored as fat. So, Ezekiel bread. No, I'm not getting paid to say that. I just really believe in it. And, okay, the next one is black beans. Black beans are phenomenal. <laughs> I know, it's so scientific, right? And so, black beans are, um, go under another category that I have here. So, black beans are a very easy carb. Once again, high, high, high in protein and also have very good fiber content. That's why they make you poop. <laughs> so to get the stuff moving. Another one is sweet potatoes. And when I say sweet potatoes, I want to encourage you to actually either microwave them or eat them raw. And this is why I say that, because when you eat a sweet potato, um, it's very, they're very, very dense in nutrition. They're fantastic for you. And, but when you bake them, they get really, really, the sugar and in content inside of them gets very caramelized and it actually makes it more sugary and you destroy some of the awesome properties of the sweet potato. And yes, I know I sound crazy, eat them raw, but it is more beneficial to eat a sweet potato raw. Just make sure you chew it a lot. Or what I like to do is I cut it up into pieces, wrap it in a paper towel a wet paper towel and then you can pop it in the microwave and it won't caramelize the sugar content of the sweet potato that's why it's called sweet because there's a higher sugar content in the sweet potato all right so that's a gr another great fat one that's going to help you lose weight um number six is oatmeal i would say oat i don't say it like that oatmeal no it's oatmeal i recommend steel cut oats and i would also recommend trying to stay away from the little packets they add a bunch of stuff unless it's the original formulation and you can tell that there's no added stuff in there you really you really want the most pure form of any kind of food that you're gonna have you want it as raw as possible so steel cut oats are great Irish cut oats are those are fantastic and get a brand that you can trust as well uh, like Bob's Red Mill awesome go to your like go to like the health food section and find brands look up brands look up companies and really really figure out can I trust this company is there a lot about this company what is their standard what is their mission um, and it'll really tell you a lot about a company and whether or not you could trust them so and oatmeal is one of those things like it's so much easier just to pick up a packet but guess what guys it's also easy to get like the big big jug you'll save money as well the big tub of, of like Irish cut oats just make it every like three days it takes like 15 20 minutes to make it raw and then just store it. And then when you're ready to eat it, take your portion out of a stored container in your refrigerator, heat it up, and you have oatmeal. You're good to go. Add a little extra water, you're fine. All right, so number seven is legumes. So I said before I said black beans, and black beans are considered a legume. Legumes are anything from peas to lentils to chickpeas to beans. Um, and lentils are just really, really high in fiber, but they also give you that complex carb. So super dense in nutrition, super dense in fiber, also high in protein, really, really great carb for you to have. So let's just go through the list one more time before I finish up. Uh, number one, quinoa. Number two, high fiber fruits. Number three, Ezekiel bread. It makes you poop. It doesn't make you poop, but it helps you. It's very natural. Uh, <laughs> number four, black beans. Number five, sweet potatoes. Number six, oatmeal. And number seven, I hope that you guys found this extremely helpful. I hope you get really excited because it's a whole bunch of carbs. There are so many amazing recipes. Hit up Pinterest and go buck wild on these. Um, and a lot of people ask me like, okay, well, how much? 
carbs do I have? If you want specific coaching from me, everybody's different. Everybody's body is different. Everybody's body. If you see any of my other videos, I'll always tell us. I'm never going to recommend how much of anything you should have because every body is different. Your weight's different. Your diet's different. Uh, your activity levels are different. And that's all going to come into consideration with what you should be eating and how much you should be eating it and when you should be eating it. So if somebody just tries to give you some cookie cutter plan, don't listen to them. If you want specific coaching from me, I'm not... I mean, I'm actually not really that expensive. So <laughs> reach out to me, email me at sillyheadfitness.com and we'll uh, sillyheadfitness at gmail.com and we'll get you started. Give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and share this with your friends if you've got any cool information from it, all right? I love you. I'll see you later. Bye. -bye.